welcome back to Edulogos Mind. Today we are going to study history. How early man become the hunter and gatherer. That we will discuss in today's lesson. Aliman was a hunter-gatherer. It means that he moved from place to place in search of food. He depended on nature for all his needs. Aliman was also a nomad. He traveled great distances to find food. He, fin he fished, hunted for wild animals and gathered berries, nuts, wild roots and fruits. But the question why did early man move frequently? Because there were many reasons. If we stayed at one place for a long time, all the available food would be eaten up, finished in, in a particular place. Animals moved from place to place in search of grass and water. Early man who was a hunter follow their movement, follow the animals movement because they want to hunt them and plant and trees bear fruits different season and that also finished after one time. That's why also early man in search of fruits and fresh uh, search of different fruits and other plants they move from one place to another place. People Plants and animals need water to survive. Sometimes off-seasonal, all rivers are not perennial. Perennial means the Himalayan rivers who are uh, flowing water throughout the year. People living on the banks of seasonal river also. And if during the summer and winter the water dry up, then they move in search of water also. These are the things because early men move frequently from one place to another place. Now we are going to describe the Stone Age. Stone Age is divided into three periods. One, Paleolithic at first, Paleolithic period, then Mesolithic period, then Neolithic period. Then the Jesus Christ birth come. Before Christ birth, this stone age divided into three parts Paleolithic period, Mesolithic period and Neolithic period. During this page period most of the earth's surface was covered with thick sheet of ice. Ice se dhaka hua tha earth. It was too, the climate was very cold. And uh, hand eggs were the commonest tools used by early men during this age. Hand eggs. And then next, needles were used. Why needles? To sew fur and skins for covering their body. They started using of needle, suidhaga. Then what? Tools such flint, blades and projectile points were used for hunting and skinning wild animals to take the skin of the wild animals they are taking using this type of tools. Tools were used by early men different, different weapons, shipping or cutting materials, digging the ground for cutting edible roots means under the ground so many roots are there you can see here under the ground roots edible roots some roots are there which they can eat taking the fruits and the things they are bringing from the tree for that they need some tools some sharp tools they need weapon Aliman used tools made of stone, wood, bone, whatever they search in the survive 
surroundings best thing they use for the tools you can see this a sharp edge of the tools these all this sharp edge they are using to cut the to chop fruits roots or the animal hides scrap bark peed ka trunk ka jo bark hai that also they are using the tools to do so using the tools and later on it's uh, it uh, seen attached to handles of bones wood to make spears and arrows for hunting these are some handle also they made to throw this you you may be know the gulati that is one one of the most uh, effective weapon of ali man ye स्टोन को गुलटी में रख के वो लोग फेंकते थे एनिमल्स के ऊपर टू हंटिंग द एनिमल्स ड्यूरिंग द मेसोलिथिक पीरियड ड्यूरिंग द मेसोलिथिक पीरियड दे स्टार्टेड लिविंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेस सो मेनी प्रूफ वी हैव गॉट कानूल केव हंसी भीम हेट का केव वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट they experimented with seeds by dropping them on the ground and seeing them to grow they realized that by growing plants they received food in sufficient quantity they have not to move from one place to another place they started domesticated animals like goat sheep cattle and provided them with milk and food now so many at first the domesticated animals dog wild dog they started the domesticated animals as a uh, stone tools were important people tried to find places where good quality stone was easily available and we can see in so many caves the cave painting the rock shelter a painting from a rock shelter describe the painting you can see the painting the that shows their skill that is in madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh in the cave this type of painting shown which shows their great accuracy and skill there are so many cave paintings we have seen here you can see the cave painting the cave painting in vimvetka now what the archaeology have found in kanul caves the traces ash that means it proves this people know the use of the fire and this invention of fire changed their life completely fire kept him warm away from the wild animals the wild animals are scared of fire so at night generally in the mouth of the cave they used to put fire and the wild anim animals generally did not come into the cave fire gave them light meat tasted better when cooked in fire so many things in madhya pradesh they found ash in kanul caves that come to know that people at that time know how to use of the fire that is the rock shelters of vimvetka where we have find uh, so many cave paintings inside the cave i told you before that at first the earth was too hot sorry too cold that always the thick layer of ice ice sheets were there covered on the surface of the earth but around 12000 years ago the climate little change and the war, warm condition of the earth it started and many areas the development of grasslands 
occurred means the land developed with the grasslands you can see in the screen on the screen you can see and this turn is uh, increased number in deer antelope goat sheep and cattle means animal that survived on grass increased the number of animals jo log ghas khate hai jo animals unke number increase hone lage kyunki dharti par ice sheet pighalne lage aur surface of the earth mein grass ukne lage grassland zyada se zyada grassland dekhne lage aur isliye ghas khane wala animals increase hone lage so uh, who hunted these animals now following them their lifestyle their food everything breeding uh, uh, breeding season means kab wo log uh, counting mein padte hain all these they are following and uh, slowly slowly they started to domesticate it and now what is domestication here the domestication is name given in the process which people grow plants and look after animals both in domestication a selection of plants and animals are made by the people plants which are healthy can bear its grain are chosen and uh, seeds are selected and planting them and getting a healthy quality of food gentle animals which have not gnawing teeth kaatne ka teeth nahi hai generally so gentle animals who could be trained were selected from the wild animals so the domestication began uh, around 12000 year ago it started sheep goats along with dog were among the first animals to be domesticated and the first domesticated plants wheat barley etc so wait for my next video if you like the video like it share it among your friends relatives neighbors and if you are new in this channel subscribe karne nahi bhulna you will get new new things every day thank you very much for watching me